Yo, what's going on everybody? Today, I'm going to show you guys my new project here. Um, I bought it on Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks, no charger. So I bought a charger off Amazon. And I was hoping that the batteries are good. I have the charger plugged in. I have it plugged in overnight, charging. And when you flip the switch, the light turns on. It's good. But when you turn on the throttle you can hear the relay click for the speed controller but the batteries are actually shot and so I started tearing it down already it's fine although are you gonna I was planning on upgrading it better battery new motor anyways so yeah it actually all just came in today I had two black widows living inside on top of the battery tray here and I got rid of them already give her a nice little wash and so I will show you guys some updates as I put this together. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick when you're removing these plastic panelings. Most of these are Phillips screwdrivers, screws, or bolts, but to remove the top here because it is bolted to this frame, you need a 10 mil wrench for that bolt under there to hold it in place. And then I'm not sure what this is called, but up here there's a 3 16 like an allen key or something, I'm not sure what this is. hex key, whatever it's called. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that because I couldn't find any videos online of how to take off the plastic paneling and it took me a while to realize that that was there, the last one. Alright, so I have most everything torn apart except the motor is still in there, but I wanted to test out connecting the speed controller with the the new motor which is a size 1020 here 36 volt 800 watt at uh, 2800 rpms the problem I'm having right now is on the speed controller the um, the T connector has these large spades in it for the battery and my battery comes with this T connector has these tiny ones in it now my battery also came with an adapter to use an XT60 cable. So yeah, these guys don't fit together because look how small this is. This female end compared to this male end. What's funny is actually, sorry, this is a bit off topic, but the this, this stock speed controller has a female end to it, so I can connect both speed controllers together. Anyways, I mean I could maybe just cut off the side cut off the battery, solder them together, and just connect it into there. Or I can convert this to an XT60 or something, and then connect it that way. But yeah, I gotta deal with that problem now. So what I did here was, my battery came with a T-pin to a XT60 connector. And I went to my local hobby shop, and I got a pack of these male T connectors that plug in perfectly. XT60 connectors, sorry. Bam, the plug in. That's, that's the opposite way. Oops. This way. Bam. The plug in nice. Nice and tight. Uh, it's a bit hard to do it with one hand. Yeah, nice and tight. And I already went ahead and I cut. I, don't ha I was trying to de-pin the T-connector that came with the stock, but I was having trouble. I don't have a tool that small. I was trying to use a bunch of flathead screwdrivers and stuff and toothpicks and stuff, and I couldn't de-pin it into a hole that small. So I just snipped the end of the wires, and I stripped the wires, and I'm about to solder them to the end of the XT60. And um, I think we should be good. And I just gotta mount the motor. And I think I can put it all together after that. So here, I got her all soldered up. If it'll focus, let me see if I can tap here. There you go. Honestly, it was a pretty terrible solder job, but whatever. I also shrink wrapped it, maybe with a pillow or there you go. Oh well. And yeah, and it connects with here the right side negative negative positive positive so I'm going about I'm about to uh, test the motor right now 
So I got everything hooked up. Motor into the speed controller, the battery, this is my power switch, and then the throttle cable. And then when I turn on the throttle cable, the variable speed. Everything works. I think it's going in reverse though. <laughs> right, because the motor would be facing that way and it's spinning counterclockwise, so it would be going in reverse. So that means that the yellow is negative and the blue is positive. I'm going to go flip that over flip it around and try it out again. Alright, one more time. So I got red to blue, black to yellow. Nice! I'm so excited. Now I just gotta take the motor out and put it in and just put it all back together. Alright guys, so I just want to give an update. Um, this is all not really mounted all the way. This battery's all loose and stuff. Um, I'm going to say don't try this at home. I made a 3D printed plate, as you can see right there. It's just literally like a half inch plate. And I fit it under the motor. And then I zip tied the motor because these holes don't line up. I zip tied it to the stock mounts. Try to get it kind of close to stock tension as possible. It's um pretty straight, the chain, relatively. It's a little bit tilted, but it's, it's alright. I got it all hooked up. Throttle mounted as well. This lock thing here, just for this key, is super cool. It has this really nice click to it. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. Turn it off. Let's see if I use my foot to hold it. You can hear that. Yeah, it is on right now. And then if I pull the throttle a little bit. It's running. That sound is it hitting the zip ties because I didn't cut the zip ties yet. I was just making sure it all worked. But yeah, she's about done. Just gotta put it all together now.